Everybody, welcome or welcome back to another video of mine. My name is Rada and today I am going to share with you how you can create beautiful hand lettering with basic and affordable markers. If you all ever feel the need of having expensive tools or brush pens for hand lettering, then you all are gonna love this video because I'm gonna show you how you all can use Crayola markers for hand lettering. So if you guys have markers, go ahead and grab some paper so you guys can get started. So before starting, I would like to say please do subscribe, like and share this video with your family and friends. Also, if you guys want to see my website for fun blogs, ideas for painting, doodling tips and all of that, I will link it in the description so you guys can check that out as well. So I'm going to start with drills or you can say basic strokes. If you are not familiar what this is, then in short, these are essential things to know when you guys are starting with hand letterings. These are basically shapes and lines used to create letters for hand lettering or you use these while you're doing your hand lettering. So it's important to be perfect at these or try your best to be. So let's get started. So our first type of stroke will be upstroke. Now if you guys notice, I'm doing my upstroke some in a fast speed and the others in a normal speed. Now this is completely up to you. All you need to know is that your upstrokes have to be thin. Now the next one would be downstrokes. Now for downstrokes, my lines are gonna be thicker or you could say wider than the other ones. Now this is because um, your upstrokes are thin. Now if you notice that when you do your downstrokes or even if you do your upstrokes, if you move your whole hand, your strokes will be better. But if you just move your wrist, it's not gonna be as you expect your strokes to be. You guys can see the comparison here. Now as you can see that my stroke, the width, the width of my stroke is not how it's supposed to be. So this can tell you that if I move my own whole hand, it's going to be better. But if I just move my wrist, it's not going to be better. Now the first one is a bit curvy and the second one is not. Now once you have perfected your downstrokes and upstrokes, I highly prefer practicing the letter N. If you guys ask why, I would say because N consists of both upstrokes as well as downstrokes. Now, once you have perfected that, if you practice your N, you get an idea how you should write your letters. Now, if you notice how I'm writing, if I do a continuous, now when I say continuous, I mean without any breaks. So my lines will not be perfect, but it is once again everyone's choice how they want to write their letters. I always prefer keeping a break in between each stroke for better performance. Now let's let me explain what I mean to say. Now without a break you guys can notice that you get a curve at the bottom instead of sharp edges. Now of course it's up to you what type of lettering you like because everyone has their own choices. But if you guys do it without any breaks you get a perfect sharp curve. So this is absolutely up to you what you want to do or it's just your wish, you can choose any of the two, but this is how I prefer doing it. You guys can also notice um, that when I do it separately, my letters come out to look more better. Now the next one is the lift test. Now what I mean by lift test is that I'm gonna make a couple of strokes 
not specifically any letter, just upstroke and downstroke, and show you what I mean by lifting your uh, brush pen or Crayola markers while you're doing. Now, if I stop after my upstroke and then stop after my downstroke and then upstroke and downstroke, you guys can see how my um, pattern comes out to look. And if you guys see the second one, it's a bit curved. Now, I know both of them look pretty good. It's absolutely up to you what you want to choose once again. But if you guys are just starting, it's highly preferable to um, have a break in between because um, if you're a beginner, it makes your job more easier and you learn even more faster. And if you guys love it without any breaks in between, you guys can practice that once you are perfect with your lifting practice. And yes. The next one which is in line would be practice your curved letters. Now what I mean by curved letters is you know the letters C, U, B, D, the ones which don't, they do have a straight line but they also consist of a curved line. Now to practice your curved letters you guys need to practice a rough, um, you can say stroke which is in curved so you guys can try uh, upside down U for your curved strokes when you're beginning with it. Now honestly when you start with your curved strokes it's really hard at first because you get a really rough surface where your upstroke and your curved thin, uh, thick stroke meets and that's really annoying at first but then with practice you get it perfect. Now. My tip would be make your upstroke first and then on top of that just bend it a bit uh, towards the side horizontally and then continue. That makes your job way more easier, trust me. So our next one will be some letters with curved strokes plus one of my most favorite tip is how to use your Crayola marker if the tip bends. Okay so let's begin with how to solve the problem when your Crayola marker tip bends. Now Crayola markers are not made for calligraphy so it bends whenever you're trying to do it as you guys can observe it's not really clear but you guys will understand when you guys are doing your calligraphy with Crayola markers now the solution to this is one side will be bended because you add pressure when you're doing your down strokes now let me make one more letter and then I'll show it to you now it's pretty clear right now um, how it's bended and what you do is you turn your Crayola marker to the opposite direction and then do your hand lettering again like continue and it's gonna be perfect now so all you have to do is just keep on turning your Crayola marker every time you do a letter or every word so for some layers with curves it's just like the one we did before practice your curves that drill um, for O, O is a really hard letter when you start with calligraphy. You get some rough surfaces when you try to join the thick stroke and the thin stroke. And my tip is to join it at this point, the part which I just circled. Because when you join it at that point, it's not visible a lot. I mean, it is visible, but not a lot. But if you do it on the side, as you guys can see, if you do it on the side, it's visible even more than before so my tip would be this now o's can be more in a standing way or a more circly everyone has their own choice how they want to write their o's i like to do it both the ways depending on what type of word i am writing currently so for c it's the same thing you just do that and if you want to make the c o you can just add the line now these are some ways people write their C's. Now once again this is all up to you how you want to write your C, the design for hand lettering or calligraphy because 
you just have to put your skills onto the paper, your imagination, and the rest just happens. Now, starting with the letter S could be a bit hard at first. Honestly, I'm not perfect at the letter S as well because it's just so hard for me, but if you're perfect at it, it looks so pretty. So I write S in two ways. One will be I divide it into two C's or I will make it in just one stroke. And with that, we come to an end. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please do subscribe, like, and share this video with your family and friends. Also, do check out my website for fun blogs, printables, and way more. And with that, bye!